You also mentioned just before in another answer this uh, dopamine triggering it, oh, the yeah. dopamine system and the head hedonic ad adoption adaption. Hedonic adaptation. Adaptation. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> so the first one was to update product frequently. Mm -hmm. Second one was change layout and structure. Mm -hmm. Third was alter user experience. Yeah. And the fourth one was make rewards possible. Yeah. yeah. How would you suggest or recommend that they could apply that principle into their environment? Mm. And so to just, just to be clear about what hedonic adaptation is, it's that when we're exposed to a stimulus, our emotional response to that stimulus will um, attenuate, we become desensitised to it over time. So if you're constantly visiting a specific app to make your bookings or you're going to an engine or to a website, if it stays the same all the time, the novelty will wear off and so we might find it less engaging. So um, when you have, to be, you, you have to be careful when applying this principle of change in not pissing people off mm. because suddenly the structure's changed and you can't find what you're looking for. So the best place I would suggest that one starts is to look at changing the content. So whether it's just the image gets moved around a bit or you use something which is more experiential in terms of the video content, the stories you're telling, that's a good way to start to gauge response. Um, and then you can change bits bit by bit so as not to change everything so much that it alienates people from using the site. And would you recommend a, 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 like a frequency in terms of how, how often? Uh, <laughs> well that is the hard question. Not too often but often enough that it keeps things fresh and mm. no one will know the answer unless you do the testing. Yeah, um, yeah. yeah it's, it's, that one's a very tricky one to yeah, answer yeah, because it's always imagine. different.